All right, so this is my predictions video for the SAG Awards for 2022. Um, I'm gonna do SAG and BAFTA back to back, so I'm gonna be wearing the same thing for anybody who cares about that. It's a nice sweater though. Um, and um, I'm gonna move through them pretty quick just because uh, they're not the biggest deal. Most people probably won't even watch like these comments. Like I think they're really just precursors to the Oscars and kind of giving a little bit of a hint at what might take Oscars home. Uh, so for people like me, it's cool and it's great to watch because it's like, okay, maybe give people an idea. And I have, I'm pretty educated on everything that came out this year. So I feel like I could actually give some educated guesses this year. So yeah, but I'm gonna move through them pretty quick because uh, there's a lot of similar nominations and there's a lot of like, just it's a, you know, it's a lot of the same stuff as the Oscars and it's two award shows that don't have as much popularity. So starting with television, uh, best actor in a miniseries TV movie. Uh, the nominees are, no, I'm not gonna do nominees, that's a lot. Uh, I have Evan Peters winning for Mayor of Easttown. I do think that it could be anybody else, but Evan Peters been winning a lot. Um, and I really love this performance, so I think he's gonna win, and I hope he does. Best Actress in a Miniseries TV, hard to go against Kate Winslet. I think there's a lot of strong candidates, and I think my favorite is Margaret Qualley. And second to her, I think, would be Jennifer Coolidge. Not to take away from Kate Winslet, because she's won the master of accents, so her Boston accent, I don't know if it's Boston, but her Massachusetts accent, or like New England accent. I'm from New England, so. Uh, spot on, just as everything else she does, and her performance is great, but not something it didn't blow me away much and jennifer coolidge in the white lotus got to do exactly what we what anybody that's watched her for years has hoped that she'd get the opportunity to do which is like get enough screen time to really let loose with her comedic timing um and mark Qualley just not that people didn't know her from other stuff like i feel like there was like her coming out party like she was she housed that role um and made but i think the odds are kate wins it takes it so that's where my prediction's going um best actor in a drama series this is up there because it seems like every year that Succession is up there, Brian Cox and Jeremy Strong kind of split. And I don't mean like they lose things, but it's like one of them usually wins and you're never sure who. But coming off of a big Emmy win last season, Jeremy Strong has been winning kind of more consistently. And so I'm thinking this is going to start be one of those like award shows going to go, well, it's easier just to stick with one than going with one or the other. I think they're going to go with Jeremy Strong. Uh, I don't I don't think there's much a chance of anybody else winning unless they really put all their uh, eggs into the squid game basket which not that it's impossible but I think the odds of that are low for them to go for everything I, so I think Jeremy Strong's gonna take that um, actress in a drama series this is more of a hope diction I think uh, Elizabeth Moss in The Handmaid's Tale I do think it's absolutely blasphemous that she has won nothing for this season i think that she has a like honestly she's got legitimate reason to win every season that they've released for this because what she does in this show will never be replicated um but i think that being said this season she really went hard and she also directed a lot of the episodes and i know that, that shouldn't necessarily feed into the actor but it does and especially at sag they really respect that i think uh jason bateman has won, I think, twice at SAG. He won director at uh, the Emmys, I think. But at SAG, he's won actor, I think, twice now, left for their last season, and I think for either their first or their second. And I think a lot of that has to do with the respect from an actor's standpoint of going like you were behind the camera and you got in front of the camera. And I think Elizabeth Moss taking that step should more than justify her finally getting, you know, the hype that I think she deserves for this. I know she won a bunch for the first season, and then it was kind of just nominations, and that's it. She's far and away the best here, and I've seen every single show that's nominated for actress. Um, Jennifer Aniston had an okay season. Uh, I'm not gonna pronounce the name of the uh, woman from Squid Game, I don't wanna embarrass myself. She was okay. Sarah Snook was amazing in Succession, but she is supporting. And Reese Witherspoon, I, who, how she gets nominated for basically playing Reese Witherspoon at this point makes no sense to me, but Elizabeth Moss, from my standpoint, seeing all this is the runaway favorite. And that's me loving Succession. I won't be upset if Sarah Snook wins. I think Sarah Snook will win. But um, I'm predicting Elizabeth Moss just because I will go down fighting for her. I've predicted her in every other award show. And I've been wrong. But I'm hoping I'm going to get one right. So I got her winning for actress. Uh, actor in a comedy series. 
Jason Sudeikis, although I think that for Zach, Steve Martin might be like a, or maybe Michael Douglas because Kaminsky Messer was in this last season, and uh, season two of Ted Lasso, Sudeikis has been winning, but season two of Ted Lasso hasn't been as well received as people thought it would, like Hacks has kind of been lapsing it, or I say it, it was one awards show, I think it was like the Emmys or something, or the Golden Globe, sorry. Uh, but I think Sudeikis still won, I think he'll win this. I wouldn't be upset if Steve Martin took it, but I do think Sudeikis was the best of all these guys. Actress in a comedy series. Jean Smart from Hacks has been winning everything, and now Hacks won the Golden Globe for Best Series, so she's got that back in her that like the series as a whole has been well received. Um, and so, Jean Smart. Uh, ensemble in a drama series, which if you're not a, uh, if you're not in the know about that, that's essentially the SAG's form of best series, best drama series. It's just they nominate, they uh, tag it as ensemble because they're judging the actors from the standpoint of being an actor. Uh, I got Succession, <laughs> same way would won best drama in any other show. I just think every season they come out with, they're probably the front. It's like a Game of Thrones situation of they're likely gonna win whenever they release a year. And the only hope most shows have is that Succession won't release every year. So like this next season they won't release and somebody else can win. Or The Crown a couple, like a last season when Succession didn't have. Succession will win. I think Squid Game's got like a hmm chance. Again, if there's a hype around it, but I'd be really upset at that because Succession's far and away better than Squid Game. Um, best Ensemble in a Comedy Series. I still have Ted Lasso. I did make these predictions before uh, I saw the results of the uh, Golden Globes. But I'm gonna stick with Ted Lasso because I'm gonna hope, not hope, I watched a bit of Hacks. It was good, it wasn't my favorite. I think it just wasn't for me. I'm really kind of hoping that was a one-time shot of like the Golden Globes being the Golden Globes and kind of doing one weird thing. Um, nothing away from Hacks because I'm sure it's great and everybody loves the show. I think Gene Smart was very good. But Ted Lasso, I think in season two, it starts a bit slow, but they really fall into place and the finish of season two is almost better than season one, in my opinion. So. I'd love to see them get rewarded for that. Uh, and they incorporate a lot more characters. They bring in a lot of new characters and they really build upon the characters. So from a standpoint of like a nominating the ensemble, I think Ted Lasso's gotta take it. And if it's not them, gotta be only murders in the building where it's really a house performance by Selena Gomez, Steve Martin, Short, and um, Steve Martin. That was the worst order because the worst of the three of them is Selena Gomez, but not that she's bad. Um, but if we're going ensemble, I think the only one that has any reason to take it from them is Only Murders, because that's an ensemble, like, the three of them as an ensemble tie that show together, but Ted Lasso. Stunt ensemble on a comedy slash drama series. I have no idea what I'm looking at, so I just went with Falcon and the Winter Soldier, because I don't even know, because it's Marvel. So, uh, now we're moving on to motion picture. Best actor in a leading role. I got Will Smith. I've been sticking with him all the way through. And in what he's been nominated for, he's won. So, and I'm hoping he sweeps. The dude deserves to not only just get the Oscar, but to have a, like a, a clean sweep of a year just to make up for all the stuff he's missed out on. Um, wouldn't be upset if Garfield got it though. Uh, would be very upset if Benedict or Javier Bardem got it, but we'll talk about that more specifically for the Oscars. Um, actress in a leading role. This one, I really, really, um, we'll talk about my shock that comes with the nominations from SAG, BAFTA, and the Oscars for um, or just awards ceremonies in general with the nominations and probably the winners of every awards ceremony being prob different. Uh, it's probably the most toss-up year you'll ever have. And so for this, Kristen Stewart's kind of my vote for everything, and she's not even nominated. And I know Kidman got the Golden Globe, but I kind of feel like that was a fluke. And I think SAG's gonna go after a little bit more of a showy kind of thing, and so I'm giving it to Chastain, uh, which I regretted when I got the BAFTA nomination and saw that Gaga was the only one nominated, because I went, well, that was just a showy, and I was between the two of them. And I was like, I think they'll go Chastain, and she didn't get nominated. I was like, well, maybe not. And then I saw that Gaga didn't make the Oscars, and so I'm sticking with Jessica Chastain. I think that she should get at least one big awards win this year. I think in a year that's a toss up and not one person sweeping, if you're gonna keep giving them out to different people, she gets at least one. Uh, she should get her chance to speak and accept an award and get recognized for her work, especially in a year where she's been very busy with a lot of good high quality stuff. I got Chastain on that one. Uh, best Supporting Actor, I got Cody Smith McPhee, which I hate. I don't want him to win. I don't think he deserves to win, but I also don't like, if it were up to me, it'd be Bradley Cooper for Licorice Pizza and he's only in like five minutes of that movie. I love him in it, but this is a very, very weak year for me for 
uh, a lot of categories, but again, with the Oscars, we'll get into that. Uh, for supporting actor and actress specifically, I think supporting actor is very weak, and I think supporting actress is very misguided with who they're deciding to nominate. But I got McPhee because he's won uh, a lot so far, and I don't think he's going to slow down at this point. I think the Oscars and BAFTA, where he's splitting with Jesse Plemons, will hurt him, and I hope it does for the sake of somebody else getting the win, but I think I'll take this. Supporting actress, Ariana DeBose is going to sweep, which I'm not pissed about only because I'm not huge on any of the nominees in any of the awards and I like Ariana DeBose because she's got a theater background and I can respect that do I love West Side Story do I love her in West Side Story no but she's not bad so I got her winning and I won't be mad when she does cast in a motion picture same deal as ensemble in a series it's them kind of being like best picture for this I actually got Belfast because uh I think picture and everything is going to be between Belfast and Power of the Dog, which at this point I think Power of the Dog is going to run away, but Power of the Dog's not even nominated here, so I'm going to go with Belfast. If it's up to me, I'd say Don't Look Up or King Richard, but I think Belfast is going to get it. Uh, stunt Ensemble for Motion Picture, again, I have no idea, so I'm going with Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. I might be way off on that, and I'm sorry if I am, but that's why I'm winning. And that's it. That is my predictions for SAG for both television and for film. Thank you for watching. BAFTA up next.